What is up guys, Austin Numi here, and today we're gonna to be talking about this really gnarly VHS rewind effect that you can get for your next music video or even a travel vlog you may be working on. This is really easy and you can do it right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we dive in, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage lined up on the timeline and I've got it playing in normal speed here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna duplicate this by holding down Alt and dragging to the right and that'll duplicate that clip for us. And on the second clip, we're gonna right click, go to speed and duration. We're going to reverse the speed here and we're also going to increase the speed by about 500%. That way it's going to play in reverse pretty quick just like that. So now we just need to add those bars around it to actually make it look like it's rewinding like a VHS tape. So I'm gonna go over here to my project panel. I'm gonna right click new item adjustment layer. And these are my settings 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second, so that looks good. Now I have this adjustment layer. I'm going to drag over my second clip here that we're rewinding. Now on this adjustment layer, we're gonna go over to our effects. We're gonna type in wave warp. Wave Warp comes up under Video Effects and Distort. Just drag this little effect onto the adjustment layer. Go to your effect controls while this adjustment layer is highlighted. And now we're going to play with some of these settings on this Wave Warp. So first we're gonna be using the wave type sine, cine. I'm not really sure how you say this, but uh, there are a couple different options, but for this one, we're gonna be using sine. So for wave height, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna keyframe this to get longer and taller as we move into the clip. So going in about 15%, just like I've done here, and then set a keyframe at your wave height. And for this keyframe, we're gonna do 200. Then we're gonna to go to the beginning of the clip here. We're gonna set another keyframe and this one is gonna be for a value of 100. So this is gonna look a lot better in just a second, but for the wave width, we wanna change this to about 20. We're gonna shorten up these little gaps here. For the direction, we're gonna change this to zero degrees so it lays flat and horizontal. And then we're gonna to go to wave speed and we're gonna type in 0.1 because otherwise it's just gonna move too fast whenever we do actually increase the speed on this. And then go down to pinning, which is actually representing the black bars on the side here. We wanna to pin to all edges. That way we get rid of those little black sides there. So now we've got the basis for our effect, but there's just a little bit too much here. Uh, so we're gonna actually chop this out a little bit. So go over to your wave warp and you'll see three options here for masking. We're gonna create a four point polygon mask, which is going to create a nice little mask right there in the middle. We're gonna take each of these points here, we're gonna drag them out to the edges of this video clip. And we wanna make sure that they are relatively horizontal in a nice straight line. And then we're going to gap this up a little bit. About that size looks good. We're gonna pull this other edge matching that size. So now that we've created a general mask, we wanna go down here under that wave warp and under that mask, you'll see mask opacity. We're gonna change that to about 40%. And that's just gonna make it a little bit more subtle of an effect. Now let's close this mask and let's just twirl up this wave warp here. So with this wave warp selected, we're gonna right click and we're going to copy. And then we're gonna do Command V in our effects panel and that'll paste the same thing down. So now we've created a duplicate copy of this. Let's go ahead and twirl this down. Let's change a couple settings here. For this one, I'm gonna get rid of my wave height altogether. So I'm just gonna click on the stopwatch. It'll ask to delete the existing keyframe. So go ahead and delete those on this layer, which is fine. We're gonna make our wave height 20 on this one. So now we're going to select this mask here and we're going to drag this up because I want this higher on the clip. We wanna space these out so it looks more realistic, maybe even a bit higher. Now let's go back over here to our effect panel. We're gonna twirl this one up. We're going to select this bottom one here, right click, copy, and then we're going to command V and paste it again. So now we have a third wave warp, which is gonna be our final one here. Twirl this down, go to your mask properties. And while this mask is selected, we're going to change a couple of these values. We wanna make this a little bit larger this time. So let's go down here and you wanna make sure you get this little sign right here and pull this down a little bit just to make it a little bit larger. Go to the other side to match this one and drag this one down too. Now, while we still have this mask highlighted, we want to drag this down to the bottom of our clip just so it's kind of off camera just a little bit there. I'm gonna go over to our wave height and we're gonna change this one to 350. And that does it for our wave warp, so let's go ahead and twirl this one up. Go back over to your effects and look up noise. You'll find noise under video effects, noise and grain. 
We're gonna drag this onto our adjustment layer and you'll see it here on the bottom of our effect controls panel. For amount of noise, we're gonna change this to 30%. Now that does look fine. I'm gonna add one more thing just to this one for extra measure. I've imported my TV Snow free stock footage. We can find linked below in the description if you wanna check this out too. I'm gonna to drag this over my adjustment layer and I'm gonna clip it to be the same size. With this TV snow layer selected, we're gonna to go to our effect controls. We're gonna make another mask. So under opacity, we'll choose the four point polygon mask. I'm gonna drag out the edges again, just like this. We're gonna make this one just a bit smaller. We wanna drag this up in between a couple of the other bars. We don't want it to really intersect with the other ones we have. So we have one here, one here, and then one up here. So placing this right here should be good. And then we're going to change the opacity to 80%. I'm gonna change the feather to 15, and that will give us that effect. And that'll do it for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a big like on this video, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.